Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the application called FileZilla. My name is John Overwine and I work at the Office of Instructional Design here at Northern Kentucky University. Um, this tutorial is, f is to learn how to use uh, FileZilla to put a file from your desktop or your computer to an online server. Um, it's not very hard, so hopefully we'll get through this quickly. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is browse to Google. It's what I always use to find something quickly. I'm sure a lot of you other people do too. Just go to Google and search for FileZilla. Easy enough. Pretty much the first thing that's going to show up is the exact thing you need. Exact thing that you need. Um, you see FileZilla, the free FTP solution. Um, just you can go straight to the download page here. And you want to download, well, if you're on a Windows machine, of course, you just want to download this recommended version right here. Um, it shouldn't take too long to download. And you can also download the Mac versions down here, just depending on if it's the Intel or PowerPC version. Um, so after you download this, go ahead and install it as you would any other application. It's pretty standard. Just hit the next button a few times, pretty much. Um, and then you will end up with a start icon on your desktop. You can go ahead and hit that, and it'll bring up the program. There's not much to it. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the program here, which I've already installed. And this is basically what you will see. So there are a few things here in the interface that may look a little confusing, but I'll try to describe them as best I can. On the left-hand side here, you pretty much have just your home computer or your office computer or your local computer. I'll just refer to it as the local computer. So here actually is the desktop folder of my computer. So this is everything I have on the desktop. Um, on the right hand side, this is your server side. So this is where you'll see all the files that are on your server. And currently we're not connected to a server, so you don't see anything there. In order to connect to a server, you'll need to go up here and hit the Open Site Manager button. Oops, that's, that's the shortcut to things I've already saved. So go ahead and I hit the left part of that. That open a little menu here, and that's how we're going to add a new site. I'm already going to use some of the information I had uh, for one of the other sites here, but we're going to create a new one just to show you how. Hit New Site down here, and you'll see the new site show up right there. We're going to go ahead and say and uh, name it New Site. I'll t enter there, and then I'll go ahead and start filling out the information on the right. This the host is the the name of the website or whatever web address you have. For instance, ours is www.nkuas.org. You don't need to worry about the port. It'll just use the default port. And FTP is what we want to choose here. There's a few other things to choose from here, but that this will be fine. On um, the logon type, we don't want anonymous. We want normal. So we're going to go ahead and fill out our user information. Um, I'll fill out ours. Of course, we're not going to tell you ours because, well, it's, that's what it's there for. All right, should get us in. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect and see what happens. Sure enough, we have our server files on this side now. So you can see everything we have on our server. You can organize the information you see here in a variety of ways with a few buttons up here. Um, if you click the first one, yeah, we'll go over that later because that has to do with server transactions. Well, I guess we can do it now. So hit that. You can actually see the specific... Um, I guess data that's passed back and forth between the server. I, I guess that's not accurate, but you can see some server <laughs> response commands, you know, all this different stuff. Um, you don't really need to worry about that for any reason uh, if you're a basic user. So unclick that. Now the others here, um, you can see the L and F next to the same icon there. This is local, and then this is the, the server here. Um, so if you click on this, it'll bring up another way of viewing everything. As you can see, it has me in the desktop folder, but you can get to any other folder this way just by opening folders and things like that. So if you wanted to go to something in your C drive, well, it's already open, so if you wanted to go to the Dell folder, for instance, you could just click on that. It brings you to the Dell folder, and it'll show you any files that are there. Well, we want to be on the desktop, so I'm going to go back to that. That's just another way you can view it. Um, you can do the same thing for the right-hand side, the server side, by clicking the, the tree button with the F next to it. And the same kind of thing. So I want to go to our public HTML folder because that's where we keep everything. 
and this is a bunch of folders, and I'm just going to go to a random folder to put a file in. I think I'll go to Matt's folder. So the way I need to upload a file here is I need to take something from my home computer or local computer, and I need to put it in a folder over here. And really all you need to do is just click and drag that from one folder to another. I prefer the other view, to be honest, so I'm going to go ahead and click out of these. So now I have all the, fol all the um, folders and files on my desktop on the left here, and I have our folders that are in the public HTML folder right there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the document I prepared, and I'm going to t take it from here. It's a Word document. I'm going to take test.doc, and I'm going to drag it all the way over to the mat folder. I'm just going to click on it and hold that button and then let go on top of that folder. It may not look like anything has happened, but I believe if we go up here and we look at that same, the server, uh, the server conversation log here, we might see something. Yeah. So here we go. Looks like... Let's see here. Test.doc, you can see that. So it grabbed that. And it's talking some, some server stuff here. And it says file, file transfer successful. So we can assume that that went up there. And another way to check, of course, is to go back and just look inside that folder. So let's double check on, or double click on Matt. And sure enough, you see test.doc there. Now that may not seem that useful at first because, you know, hey, you have, a, you have a file online somewhere. But it's pretty useful if you just want to be able to store some of your files online so you can access from any computer. Um, for instance, let's go ahead and, and travel to that file on the internet. So where I had been at FileZilla's here, let's just go to our our website, www.nkuas.org slash mat was the folder I put it in. And we're going to go to test.doc. So if we just hit that, it should prompt me for a download. Yep, there it is. So since you're not normally going to open a Word document with your browser, and I don't think you really can. It gives you the option to download it or open it with a, a local program or application. So you can choose from whatever you want to open it with, but of course you're going to open it with Microsoft Word. But I'm just going to save it to the disk just, just to do it. So I'm going to save it, and we're just going to save it on the desktop again. It's just going to replace the original. Actually, just save it as number one. And save. So it downloads it. And in a few seconds, we have the file. And it's on your desktop, just like I had uploaded from. Um, let's see here. In short, I guess, really, that's all you need to know about FileZilla. Once again, uh, you can learn more about it from FileZilla, FileZilla's website. Um, but generally, that's all you need to know. Just remember, mainly, that the right-hand side is your server side. And the left-hand side is your local side. Um, if you drag a, f a file from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, it's going to go on the server wherever you drag it to. That's, a, that's an important note to keep in mind, just because you can, you can put things in the wrong folder on